Hey everyone, my name is Dan Fisher. I'm the head coach here at the University of Pittsburgh. Thanks for watching this week's Fish Report. I'm joined by two very special guests, Lakator and Serena. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us, us. Fish. Uh, let's start out, uh, you're both you know, transfers, older players. Start out by telling us a little bit about yourself and then just what the, the transition's been like so far. Um, so I am a grad student outside and I have seven brothers and sisters. Big family. Big family. I got to meet a couple of them a couple days ago. We sang happy birthday. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Nice. And then, um, yeah, the transition's been actually pretty easy. Like, the team's nice, the culture's awesome. Pittsburgh is pretty to look at. There's a lot of fun things to do. So it's been a lot easier than I thought it would be. Great. And Serena, what about you? Um, so I am a fourth year, but I am not a senior. I, uh, I'm in the Applied Developmental Psychology graduate program. So that's a little something about me. I just have one brother, one uh, great Pyrenees in California, and that is the only nocturnal dog. Um, as far as the transition, I would say it's been really easy. The girls are some of the most welcoming people I've ever met. Mm. And I would say the hardest part of the transition was like not leaving yet, like knowing I still had like a lease where I was previously living and like still like uh, finishing out my job there. That was like hard knowing I had all this like ahead of me. But like now that I'm here, I find it's very easy to focus on the team and the girls and the city and yeah, just forming good relationships. Well, from the coaching perspective, you, you both have just adapted really quickly, so it's been it's been uh, been pretty smooth from our end, and we're glad to have you. We have a, a clearly we have a really good team. There's been some preseason awards that have come out. Um, you know, we've been rated in the preseason in the top ten, the highest we've ever had. We've have three players in the ACC preseason um, all conference list: uh, Kayla Lund, Chinaza Inde and Serena Gray, congrats, Serena. Thank you. Um, I know they are preseason awards and we don't look too much into it, but um, you know, what, is it, what is it like to be, get early recognition, I guess? I mean, I would say any recognition is greatly appreciated. I think um, she and Kayla's recognitions definitely speak, um, as, speak of a whole about the team and how hard they worked in the previous years and like going to the Elite Eight this past year and it speaks to the coaching staff. Um, as far as like my recognition, still a little questionable there, <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I hope we can perform and live up to those expectations. Great. Well, let's, uh, Lek, why don't you kind of take us through a little bit. We've had a blue gold scrimmage. We were at Cincinnati, so we've got a, a little bit of competition under our belts. What, what were the big takeaways for you from the scrimmages? Um, just like seeing like us like mesh as a team um, and getting like the kinks out and like getting the first game out like I think it was really helpful um, before going into actual play that counts. Um, for me personally just working on pit speed and getting my feet to the ball and making sure that I was passing well but yeah overall it's a good experience. Yeah well you're getting stuff fast. Any, any other big takeaways Serena from just our, our preseason uh, competitions or training block? Yeah, um, you've definitely juggled around the lineup a couple times, and I think it kind of shows the depth of this team. We have a lot of girls who really want to play and are going to work their butts off to play. So it was really interesting in uh, both our scrimmage and our blue and gold game how much depth we have. She's right, lots of depth, Panther fans. I have my work cut out for, for me, and my staff and I got, a, got some big decisions to make this weekend, but um, good problem to have. Um, all right, are we ready for the real Quick questions, we reel it in. Yes. Okay. Favorite meal? Papa John's. Anything Asian? Texting or talking? Oh, FaceTiming all day. FaceTime. Uh, do you have any nicknames? Black. Bean. Several people throughout my life have called me Bean, not knowing the other, someone else who's called me Bean. I guess I just give off Bean vibes. People I get close to just start calling me Bean randomly. Can I start calling you Bean? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned something new. Okay, last musical artist you listen to? Nao, Nayo, Nao. Orbit. 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 Yes, in the car. <laughs> um, who did I listen to? Kevin Abstract. Favorite movie? The Lorex. Valentine's Day or. I think Valentine's Day. 
What brings you joy? Jesus. Jesus. And that's it for the real quick questions. You guys both killed it. Thanks for being on. You know, we got a big week coming up. We're playing two top 25 teams headed to South Carolina. The first big one is going to be Rice on Friday night, and we hope you'll follow along. Thank you for being on, and thank you for watching this week's Fish Report. Reel it out. Out. <laughs>